there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the Ladies octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 159 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Ready? Ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Just missing on the high kick there. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big leg kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Pretty good right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice right hand, John. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. He is blocked. Good shot, good shot. 
Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. Leg kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Five minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. into these big leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right hand on point. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Lee's shot is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Nice kick. Oh, nice uppercut, yeah. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Single-collar tie now. Huge block there. Push kick there to the body. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, spinning back this. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Nice. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 10 minutes in the books. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponents, will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Blocks the shot. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good stick. problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Head kick. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Yes, you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Boom. Oh. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Oh. He's, he's hurt bad. His opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground upon fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Lee getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Lands with the ground and pound here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Close guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Lands the right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh! Huge right hand! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state a flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision Ladies is now in and resides with Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-26, 30-26, and 29-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Assassin!